Which one is that? Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Hi, good evening. Very good. Very nice. Nice to hear that. Very good. Now, we are going to start with today's class. Right, today is class number 11th, right? We're going to start with class number 11th and we're gonna do our best to practice a little bit more. Yesterday, we couldn't finish uh, unit number two, so we will continue with unit number two today. Okay, so tomorrow we will start with unit number uh, three, right? So let's start right here. Give me one second. Let me see how many people I have. Oh yeah, I have a lot of people right now. Okay, very good. Okay, our class for today is called Video Conferencia Numero 11, Information, Questions and Answers. But pretty much we, that's what we're going to do uh, for tomorrow. Now today, to start the class, I would like you to tell me some of the sentences that you created yesterday. Ayer nos quedamos como a medio camino del ejercicio final creating sentences for the days of the week, right? Uh, Marielos, can you help me out? And let's try to remember the days of the week. Do you remember the days of the week? No lo entendí, no les estaba poniendo atención. 
Okay. <laughs> Can you tell me what are the days of the week? Monday. Uh huh. Very good. Uh, who's going to help me? Fausto. Okay. Or was it Rene? Sunday? Sunday. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. We have Sunday. Wednesday. Sunday, Tuesday. Okay. Sunday. Monday. Monday. Monday again. Wednesday. Wednesday. Thursdays, Fridays. Thursday, Friday. Saturday. Saturday. And that's it, right? Now, what do what would you change in this order? Is this the correct order? Sunday, Tuesday, Monday, Wednesday. Is that correct? No. What would be the correct order? Uh, Monday, Tuesday. Monday and then Tuesday. Okay, very good. So we're just gonna move this Tuesday. one right here. So we start with Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Very good. These are the days of the week, right? The days of the week. If we have time today, I will teach you the months of the year, okay? Now, yesterday we were completing an activity. Y nos quedamos a media, todo como que muy a la carrera hicimos este ejercicio. Right. And in this exercise, we were practicing negative sentences using do or don't, right? Sentences that we were working with activities that you do in your workplace or that you don't do in your workplace, right? Now, uh, let me let, let us read some of the sentences that you have. Vamos a leer una de las oraciones que ya crearon, este ya les hicieron ayer. Solo que no nos quedó tiempo de, de compartir las oraciones. So, let's share what you have. ¿Quién tiene? Eh, or tell me, let's see. Tell me, René. René Alfonso. Can you please tell me? Hi, teacher. Hi. What activities, listen, what activities you do on Wednesday. What activities you do on Wednesday? On Wednesday. Uh, I watch TV on Wednesday. I, I don't play video games on okay. Wednesday. Very good. I watch TV on Wednesday and I don't play video games on Wednesday. Very good. Very nice, Ren Alfonso. Choose another person. Uh, quiero ver. Ever, creo que hay, no, no hay. Ever. Ah, no, Fausto. Fausto, ok. Ya le cambió nombre el cipote. Ok, sí. Fausto. <ríe> Fausto, tell us, Fausto. Okay, Tisha. What do you do at your workplace or what, what activities do you do in your house, at your work, whatever, eh, on Fridays? On um, uh, I watch television on Friday. I watch I television. Don't talk mm -hmm. on Fridays. I don't talk. I don't talk on the phone on Fridays. Okay, talk. very good. Talk, talk on the phone. Very good. I don't talk on the phone. Very nice. That's perfect. Okay. Now choose another person, Fausto. Um, Eliani. Eliani, can you share what are the activities that you do or don't do on Saturdays? I watch TV on Saturdays. I don't drive a car on Saturday. Ah, oh, okay, very good. Thank you, Eliani. What's the next? Who's the next person? Who is the next person? Pedro. 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 What do you do or what you don't do on Thursdays? Okay. 
I check email uh, on this Thursday. Okay. I I don't uh -huh. check email email every day. Okay. I you check the emails on Thursday, and you don't check the emails every day. Yes. Okay. But if you say that, it means, Pedro, that you don't check the email on Thursday. Si usted dice que no chequea el email todos los días, tendría que decir, I only check the email on Thursdays. Ah, okay. I only check email on Thursdays. Okay? okay? Okay. Very good. Very good. Now, choose the last person for this activity. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Who is it? Who is it? Who's the last person, Pedro? Walter. Walter. Okay, Walter. What what are the activities that you do or don't do on Wednesdays? Wednesday. Este, mm -hmm. I am at sexy bean on Thursday. I do not have them. Dreamer late Thursday. Okay, I don't have dinner late oh, din Thursday. I don't have dinner I late on Thursday on Thursdays, okay? Or Wednesday. Yes. Okay. What's the other one? Repeat. What's the other example? Este Give me another Fausto. example. Another example. Fausto? No, another example. Not another person. You give me another example. Another example. No le entiendo, teacher, la verdad. Si me dice, me lo traduce en español. <laughs> give me another example. Deme otro ejemplo. Give me ah. another example. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. Este, I watch television, television mm -hmm. on Sunday. Okay. I do not drive in car Sunday. Very good. I don't drive a car on Sundays. I, uh -huh. I don't drive a car on Sunday. Very good. Very good. Perfect, Walter. Perfect. Now, all of us. All of us, we are going to practice the pronunciation of the phrases that we have. We're going to practice the pronunciation of the phrases, okay? So please repeat after me, okay? Repeat okay. after me. The okay. first one is check email. Check email. Check email. Yeah. Everyone, please check email. Check email. email. Check email. 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 Number two, drive a car. Drive a car. Drive a car. Drive a car. Three, eat breakfast. Eat, eat, eat breakfast. breakfast. Eat breakfast. Breakfast. Number four, exercise. 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 Okay. Exercise. Number five, get up early. Get, get up, up early. 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 Very good. Get up early. Number six, go to school. Go, go to school. school. Go, go to school. 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 Very good. Some go people, some people will say go to school. Go to school is the same. Mm -hmm. go so to which school. is which is better for you? Well, go to school. Go to school. Go to school. Okay, very good. Then number seven, number seven, have dinner late. Have dinner late. Have dinner late. Dinner late. Late. Very good. Late. Number eight, play video games play video games play video games very good number nine 
see my friends. See my friends. See my friends. Okay, very good. See my friends. See my friends. Number 10, sleep late. A sleep late. 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 Like around late. 11 p.m., 12, late. 1 a.m. Okay, sleep late. A Number sleep late. 11, talk on the phone. And 12, watch television. Watch television. Watch television. television. Very good, very good. Watch so we have television. these two. Let's see, I have 15 people. So let's see. We're going to start with the first person. Let me see here. I will say your names and you start with number one, two, three, and continue. Eh, Calama, eh, let's see, Fausto, number one. Uh, check email. Check email. Check email. Check email. Very good. Carla Marielos, number two. Drive a car. Okay, my uh, Susana. Eat breakfast. Mariela. Exercise. Very good. Edwin. <coughs> Edwin. Edwin. Get up. Um, get okay. up. Thank Get you. Eliani? Go, go to school. Go to school. Very good. Continue there, Eric. Eric? Perdón, tenía el micrófono apagado. Okay. How dinner late. Very good. I said. Play video games. Play video games. Very good. Pedro? See my friends. See my friends. Very good. Eh, René? Sleep late. Very good. Joanna? Number 11, Joanna. Talk on the phone. Perdón. Is let me. No, 11. No. 11. Ah, Talk on the phone. Talk on the phone. Very good. And Arita, number 12. Watch television. Very good. Very good. Madali, I, help me out with the days of the week. Madali. Hello, Jennifer Madali Hernandez. You're not there? Okay, so Walter, help me out with the days of the week. Monday. Walter, you're not there, Walter? Perdón, Walter teacher. Morales? ¿Qué dice, teacher? Can Perdón. you help me out with the days of the week? What's in the week? Uh -huh. mm. Pronunciation of the days of the week. Los días de la semana, me pregunta. Yes. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, uh, Thursday. Okay. Friday. Lo Friday. Uh -huh. Saturday. Sunday. 
Okay, very good. Don't worry, Jennifer. It's okay. Me había metido otra cosa. No podía salir. Okay, it's okay. Don't worry. Now we have the we finished the exercise. We will continue, but before we continue, let me call the attendance. Okay. Let me call the attendance. Okay, give me one moment. Today is October the 6th, October 10th. Vamos a pasar la asistencia rapidito. Por favor, encenden sus cámaras. Yeah, we are all fine. Susana Guadalupe, Costa de Cruz. Presente. Wendy Joana Ruiz González. Presente. René, Alfon René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Presente. Jennifer Madali Hernández Mejiva. Presente. Eric Macario Pérez Ramírez. Presente, teacher. Briseida Mabel Avilés Celaya. Presente. Pausa Antonio Landaverde López. Presente. Carla María Ilos Guevara Callejas. Presente. Wendy Yesenia Arita González. Presente. Edwin Antonio García Hernández. Presente. Rosa Elena Figueroa Hernández. Rosa Elena, no? Ok. Uh, Jessica Joana Guardado de Medrano. Alexander de Jesús Palma. Pedro Ernesto Quijada Celaya. Presente. Mariela de Los Ángeles Alvarado Díaz. Presente. Carla Díazef Queloche de Parada. Presente. Abel Edgardo Martínez Hernández. Abel. Eleani Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Presente. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Presente. Thank you very much. So let's continue. Teacher, yes. Teacher, a, a question. Yes, Eric. Eh, ayer nos eh, dijo eh, cómo se escribía fin de semana y yo no lo logré anotar. ¿Será que no se ayuda, por favor? Yes. Okay. Let me put you here. Can you see my computer? A moment. Uh, yes. It's a little bit okay. slow. Okay. These are the days of the week. But the days of the week, they are divided in two parts, in two sections, pretty much. The first section is the weekends, right? For the weekend, let me put this. Let me do this right now. Give me one moment. Okay. Now we have here the days of the week. Sunday and Saturday, right? The days that we don't work in El Salvador, we don't work, most of us. This is called weekends. Weekends, okay? And then these days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, that will be week, week days. Right? Week days. Right. These are weekends, just like that. Solo así lo vamos a decir, weekends. Right? Weekend. Y luego tenemos weekdays, los días que prácticamente se elabora. Okay? Weekdays, okay. Y weekend sería fin de semana. Exactly. Okay, okay. gracias. Now, let's continue with the next activity right now. Okay. Okay. So what are we going to do right now? This activity is for the man, is from the manual right, that we're going to work with right now. With this activity, we are going to ask a classmate what he or she does every day of the week at his workplace. What we're going to do, we're going to collect five activities from that person. Five activities. And the question is this. What do you do every day in your workplace? I, what, what can be possible answers for this? Let me ask you, uh, 
Adia said, what do you do every day in your workplace? Tell me one activity. I have a meeting. I have a meeting. Okay, I have a meeting. Very good. That is one activity that Adia said does. Okay, very good. But I need to talk to her and I need to collect five activities, not only one, okay? We're going to collect five activities. So if my partner, if my partner is like I said, I'm going to talk to her and I'm going to get four more. So a total of five, she is going to ask me the same question, okay? So we're going to have like a small conversation and we're going to write on a notebook, right? On your notebooks, the five activities that you do, right? Vamos a trabajar en parejas. Vamos a hacer la pregunta que está en el literal A. What do you do every day in your workplace? Right? And your classmate is going to answer with five activities. Tienen que decir por lo menos cinco actividades que hacen durante el día. En su trabajo, no en la casa. No more watch television, play video games, no. Activities that you do every day in your workplace. Ya tenemos bastante vocabulario de actividades que podemos hacer en el trabajo, de las que hemos ido notando, that's what we're going to take from, okay? So, let's okay. start right now. I am going to put you in groups, but I need you to take a screenshot of this activity. I need you to take a screenshot of this page. So please, take a screenshot. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Are you ready? ¿Ya tomaron la captura de pantalla? ¿Están seguros todos? Lo anoté. Yes. Okay, yes. very good. Yes. Perfect. So let's go. I'm going to put you in groups right now. Uy, ¿quién se me fue? Tenía 16. Okay. Teacher, ¿lo puede yes. volver a poner el ejemplo, por favor? No, no, no. Pero... <risa> a mí me dice que no, ¿verdad? <risa> es que se asusta. <risa> sí. Let me put it here one more time. One moment. Ok. Ya, teacher. Ok, very good. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, let's see here. We're going to work right now in groups. And we're going to have two people, two people per room. How many activities are you going to collect, Peter, from your partner? Five. Five activities. What is the question that you will ask, Briseida? Yeah. What is the question that you will ask? ¿Qué pregunta le va, va, vamos a practicar en este momento? Ah, voy a ver la captura. Ajá. La que está en la captura. Eric, Eric, Briseida. Briseida, Briseida. Ajá. Dice. ¿Qué dice? What do, you, what do you do every day in your workplace? In your workplace. Thank you very much, Brisey. Okay, let's continue. Let's get to work right now. Everyone is going to work in pairs. Hello, Rosalena. Welcome. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's get to work, let's get to work. Everyone is in pairs. Choose your group, choose your partner. Let's go. Mariela, no se rebelde, vaya a ser grupo. Fausto, go to your group. Carla Marielos, go to your group. Yes. Se yeah. igual yeah. más. Ah, t-shirt. Yes. Right now we're working in pairs. Así que solo ustedes trabajan. Todos estamos trabajando mm -hmm. en pareja. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Let's go. Nah, inicio este, Fox. Yo le voy a preguntar. What do you, okay. what do, you do every day in your work, workplace? Mm, I make invoice uh, every day. Um, eh, voy a revisar unas anotaciones. Ok. Uh, prepare push order. 
teacher, esa palabra me cuesta pronunciarla. Purchase. Purchase. Purchase okay. order. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Purchase order. Order. Uh, and I have a customer service person. Mm -hmm. Y yo quería. Uh, I review orders uh, in the morning. Okay. Write it down, please. I want to see. I want to see how you write it down. Put it on the chat. I want to see how you how you write it. Okay. Put it on the chat. Yes. Hola. Hello. Solo voy a poner la la que mencioné. Okay, please. Eh, payroll, así se pronuncia. Payroll, payroll. yeah, that's payroll. correct. Y review inven inventories. Inventories, bueno, inventarios. Revisar pedidos. Más que todo en la mañana me toca. Ok, I'm so sorry. ¿Cuántas llevo? Is I review orders in the morning. Ok. But you say review, uh, review. purchase orders. Didn't you say purchase that? Purchase orders. Ok. Uh -huh. Purchase orders. I review purchase orders okay. in the morning. Ok. Ok, very good. Thank you. Very good, you're welcome. Let me go to another group. I'll see you in a moment. ¿O tendría alguna pregunta? Reseida, pausa. Ah. Um, Siempre le tienen que agregar el I do, el I do o así nada más la, sin el do. Sin el do. Es, lo que pasa es que cuando usted dice do, está diciendo como que qué actividades usted realiza o desarrolla todos los días. Entonces, what do you do every day? ¿Qué, qué, qué hace usted? ¿Qué actividades hace? El verbo do nos dice es para hacer o realizar o desarrollar. Entonces, cuando usted dice, cuando ya responde, por ejemplo, solo puede decir I, I check the merchandise. Eso es lo que yo hago. Entonces ya no utilizo do, sino que utilizo el verbo que yo estoy, que yo estoy eh, performing, que estoy haciendo. Por ejemplo, I check the merchandise. Yo verifico que la mercancía esté bien. I check the merchandise, por ejemplo. Entonces lo que yo hago es check. Entonces ya cambio el verbo do por otro y, verbo. Digamos, yo hago cheques diario. No. But you do, pero de qué hace esos cheques? Solo los cheques. Hacer cheques, hacer cheques. Emitir cheques. Ajá. I submit. Ajá. I submit cheques. I submit checks. In Canadian, in Canadiense, checks, escribe checks. Así que lo puede usted ver así de esas dos formas. Checks or checks. Okay. Very good. More questions? No. No? Okay, I see you in a moment, okay? Okay. Hello, do you have questions? Este, ahorita estoy dándole la mía a, a Carla y después ella me va a dar las de ella a mí. Okay. Any questions? Ahí está. No, okay, not yet. Okay. Can you please practice your pronunciation, Walter? Este... Some my attendees at work. Okay. Docu document impression. Made with my boss. Okay. Can you please copy, copy las actividades que le envió a Diaset? Quiero verlas. Las que le envié yo a Carla. Sí. Cópialas y póngalas en el chat para que yo las pueda ver. 
Las de Carla hacia mí. Las que usted le acaba de enviar a ella. Ahí están en el chat, ¿no? Ah, pero no, creo que, que solo no ahí. Uh -huh. Ah, espérenme, entonces le voy a poner a enviar a todos. Uh -huh. Please. Por favor. Enviar a todos nosotros tres. Ajá. Let me see. Okay. Ahí está, teacher. Ok. ¿Qué es lo que pasa, Walter? En estas, en estas actividades, se lo, voy a, lo vamos a copiar y quiero, quiero que vea acá. ¿Puede ver mi pizarra blanca? My whiteboard. Can you see it? Yes. Ok, very good. So we have the activities that you have put here, right? You say, sign my attendance at work, right? Esa es una. Sign my attendance. ¿Qué le falta? ¿Cuál es la estructura de la oración en inglés que hemos practicado desde el inicio? ¿Qué va primero? I. I, ok. I sign my attendance, attendance at work. Very good. ¿Qué significa okay. eso? Que usted chequea, pasa tarjeta como decimos en El Salvador, ¿verdad? Pasa tarjeta. Ah, okay. ok, very good. Es bien importante que usted se recuerde cómo tiene que hacer la estructura de la oración, porque aquí no está escribiendo oraciones, solamente está escribiendo frases. Okay. Y las frases no son oraciones. Si yo le digo a Carla, Carla, sign my attendance at work, entonces yo le estoy dando una orden a Carla, no le estoy oh. diciendo lo que yo hago. Porque okay. aquí usted los ha puesto como imperativos. Ah. ¿Es un imperativo? Es una oración que utilizamos en inglés, para decirle a alguien qué es lo que tiene que hacer. Es una entonces, orden. Entonces usted le está diciendo a Carla ahorita, Simon my attendance at work, que le haga fraude y que le pase la tarjeta por usted. Eso le está pidiendo. ¿Ok? Ahora, en la segunda, que cuando, cuando usted tiene impressions, impressions, la palabra impressions es como, wow. O sea, ¿qué, qué impresión tiene cuando usted ve a alguien? Yo veo a Carla y digo, wow, tiene un hijo, no se le nota. Right? <laughs> Esa es una impression. That's an impression. Does it go as I print I print documents uh, at work? At work, okay. okay. Print significa imprimir. imprimir. I print documents at work. Okay. Then we have the next one. Sorry. It says here, meeting with my boss. ¿Qué es lo que pasa? Usted me está conjugando. Ahorita solamente estamos utilizando simple present. No estamos ocupando ing. Carla dijo, I have meetings every day. Right? Mm, okay. I have, usted puede decir, I have meetings. Meetings ya sería un nombre, ya no sería un verbo. I have meetings every day. Qué horror sería tener reuniones todos los días. I have meetings every day. Every day. Por ejemplo. O usted puede decir, I meet with my boss on, Sunday. on Sundays. No, on Mondays. Mondays. On Mondays. Sí, Sundays, no, digo cuál. I meet with my boss. Quiere decir que tam, meet lo puedo utilizar como yo tengo una reunión con mi jefe. Ok. okay. 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 Ve cómo cambia, cómo, cómo cambia la estructura. De, la, de, 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 de las palabras, pero siempre tiene el mismo significado. Meet okay. or meetings. Okay? Okay. Y luego, deliver of stationery to supervisors. No, no entiendo qué quiere decir delivery of stationery. ¿Qué quiso poner ahí? Déjenme verlo. a los supervisores, creo. ¿Qué? ¿Qué? Este yo no le digo. Creo, entrega de estación a los supervisores, algo así. Le, le... Revisión, hace, revisión de especificación. No, I la have... anterior, la anterior. Ah, delivery, ah, dice entrega de papelería ah, a supervisor. Okay. I deliver documents. Pero esa entrega de papelería, ¿qué es? ¿Como un reporte? Eh, este, no, yo realmente lo que entrego, ellos me, me solicitan algo de lo que yo hago y yo les entrego, le digo papelería porque es en cartón lo que entrego, yo le llamo moldes. Ah, ok. 
So I deliver yeah. documents to my supervisors. Uh -huh. Documents, yeah. papeleria, documents. Okay. And then the last one, I review specifications. I review specifications. Especificaciones de qué revisa usted? De clientes. I review clients' specifications. Clients' specifications. Okay. Mire acá. Subject, okay. verb, complement. Subject, verb, and complement. Okay. Siempre tiene que ir en ese orden. Okay, okay. teacher. Very okay. good. Please copy the examples or take a screenshot para que los practique. Yes, yes. Okay, very good. Any more questions? No? Ah? Yes, please. Vamos a ver. Ya las anotó, Walter. Sí, ya las tengo. Ok, that is nice. Ok, let's see, Carla, what do you have? I have a meeting every day. Good. What's another one? I make administration reports on Friday. Mm -hmm. Friday is with capital letter. So it will go like Friday. On Fridays. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay, very good. What's next? I check the accident report on Mondays. Okay. The accident report. What do you mean the accident report? Eh, los accidentes de trabajo. Oh, accident reports. Mm -hmm. I check the work accident. Accidentes de trabajo, work accidents or job accidents. Ah, es que son entre, es que son accidentes general, accidentes de trabajo y accidentes comunes, o sea, en general, accidentes. Ah, ok. I checked the, the accident reports on Mondays. Ok, very good. Ok, very good. Uh -huh. I update reports every day. Ay, a mí tú. That's boring. Ah. Oh. Gran trabajar, por gusto. I update reports every day. Okay, very good. And the last one. I make EHS formats. No sé qué es EHS, pero se ve que es algo difícil. <laughs> sí, es la parte de seguridad y salud ocupacional. Nada más que está en inglés. Ah, ok. So that's what you do. Very good. Very good. So that, those are your sentences. Ustedes dos van a comenzar ahorita que ya nos unamos con los demás. Vámonos. Déjeme anotar la última, Tiche, de, de Carla. I met okay. EHS. EHS. Es format. Format. Okay. Ay, no copié las de Walter. Walter Póngaselas ahí, Walter. Tienen un ahí minuto en, todavía. En el, en el chat está, no la puede ver. No, no la miro. No, porque ah, ahí no. puse ah. las otras. Ah, ok. Compártesela, tienen 40 segundos. Nos vemos. Bueno. Ok, did you share your activities? Yes. Yes? yes. Okay, very yes. good. Yes, we do. Yes. Okay, perfect. I'm glad of that. Give me one moment. Okay, so we are going to start 
Did you said you copy the, the, the activities? Mm -hmm. No, no puedo terminarlas de copiar. Ahora se la voy a pedir a Walter por el chat privado. Okay, okay, very good. So we're going to start with Miss Arita before you get sleepy. <laughs> hello. Hello, hello. We're going to start with her. She's going to tell us the activities. Remember that now you are telling me the activity about someone else, okay? So if you're telling me an activity about a third party, what are you going to use? Are you going to use I? What are you going to use? If I am talking about someone else, what subject pronoun should I use? She and he. She and he. Very good. She and he. Very good. Walter, complete sentences. Remember, subject verb complement, Walter. Okay. Now, we have, we're going to start with Yesenia. Yesenia, who was your partner? Susana. Susana. Okay. Tell us about Susana. Uh, bye. What do you do every day in your workplace, Susana? No, you tell me about Susana. Okay. Ahorita ustedes están reportando la información que ya recogieron, que ya colectaron. So okay. you're going to tell me about Susana. She checking She email. checks. She checks. She checks emails. She checks emails, okay. She customer support. She gives. Espérame, espérame. La espero. Me confundí. Voy a volver a empezar. Okay, start again. What do you do every day in your workplace? She plays class on Monday. Okay. She creates generally class she check email she check uh, student activity she house section on the zoom plus more okay okay very good now arita choose another person from this from this group Choose another person. Um, uh, Eliani. Eliani, okay. Who was your partner, Eliani? Mariela de Los Angeles. Okay, tell us about Mariela. What do you do every day in workplace? I Talk to the people in the morning. No, tell I, us, tell us about Mariela. So if you're telling us about Mariela, are you going to use I? Is that the subject no. pronoun? No. no. She talked to the people in the morning. Very good. She recites the staff. She invoices documents. She okay. launched with your colleagues. With my colleagues. With, with your colleagues? With my colleagues? With her colleagues. With her with colleagues. Her colleagues. Uh -huh. Thank you. I check her email every day. Why do you check Mariela's email? Eso es privado. <laughs> your... You say, I check Mariela's email. I check Mariela's emails every day. ¿Por qué le revisa el correo a la Mariela? Mariela, ¿no permite eso? Usted dijo, I check Mariela's email. She I check, check her email. email. No, my her email, no. Email. Uy. She check Mariela her check email. Her email. Her email. Every day. Every day. Very good, very good. You see, una palabrita chiquitita sí le va a cambiar el significado a todo lo que ustedes están queriendo decir. Ok? She checks her email every day. Y se okay. me dice, my email? Yo me quedo loca. 
<laughs> bueno, son como cinco, así que no sé cómo hacer. Ok, very good. Eliani, choose another person. Al que se esté durmiendo, um, escoja, por favor. Briseida. Briseida. <laughs> <laughs> Who was your partner, Briseida? Uh, it's Fausto. Fausto, okay. Tell us about Fausto. Uh, Fausto, uh, he makes invoice. Okay. Prepare, prepare, prepare. Prepares, uh -huh. prepare, purchase order. Okay. Uh, and customer service person. Okay, very good. He review order in the morning. Perfect. He makes remittances in the bank. Okay, very good, very good. Now we have other sentences and the last participant, who wants to participate? Who wants to participate in English now? Okay, Edwin, very good. We're going to listen to Edwin. Very good. Okay, my partner was Carla. Okay. She makes four copies at her work. She assists, sister, uh, how do you say assist here by? Assist. 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 Uh -huh. She assists a customer. Okay. She talks with her boss. Boss. How do you say boss? Boss. Boss. Yes. Okay. Yes. Because if you say boss, it's like la it's rosa. A, no. boss. Uh -huh. Exactly. <laughs> la 52 ahí. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, she takes a ride. She takes a ride. Okay. She Four. drinks coffee. She drinks she, coffee every afternoon. Okay, she very drinks. good. Okay. She drinks coffee, okay. Very good. That's all, okay, very nice. Who else wants to participate in, in practice their English? Hi, teacher. Okay, very good. Continue, René. Uh, activity, uh, mis actividades, my team. Uh, tell me about your classmates. Porque la soy que puedo. Tell me about your classmates. Sobre su compañero. Ah, pero es que no me les ha pasado. <ríe> ok, tell me yours. Tell me yours. Ah, va, ok. Las mías. Yes. Ok. Uh, what do you do every day in your workplace? Porque según me pregunta Edwin, I do daily report. No, I do daily reports. Ok. One, two, I run training. Three, mm -hmm. I supervise, no, I supervise the training plans. Okay. Four, I plan the coach meeting. Five, I record the attendance to the athletes. Athletes okay. is the atleta, no sé si así Athletes, okay, very good. Athletes. No, that's perfect. I, okay. Very good. Now we're going to check just, I put on the chat the three words that we need to practice. Reports, porque varios tienen esa palabra. Reports, reportes. One report, many reports. Then plan, when, for example, I plan my classes. Yo tengo que planificar también. I plan my classes. And the last one is athletes, right? All people who like sports, right? Athletes. Okay, very good. So we continue. We're going to continue here with the next activity. In the next activity, we are going to practice a little bit of reading. Okay, can you see my computer? Yes. Yes. Yes, okay, very good. Yes. Okay, now in this activity, we're going to go to the manual on page 23. Mariela, can you please read the instruction right here? This one, read the information. Read the information about each person activities at the workplace. Okay, now we have four people here. Who are the four people? We have first, 
Oneida, Nelly, Ricardo, and Max. We have four people. You are going to read the information, the things that they do, and the things that they don't do, right? Do and don't do. This is about four different people. What are you going to do after that? After that, you after you have read, right? You are going to answer these questions, right? They are on page 23. We're going to answer questions from one, one, two, three, and cuatro, four, señores, que locura. Right, we have these several questions. Now, can you can you please read the questions for uh, me? Give me one second. Give me one moment. Okay, read these questions, Susana. Do Oneida and Nelly work with software? Okay, very good. Read the next question, Madali. Do you reach and Max with more from cells? Very good. Let's continue here, Joanna. Do Oneida? This one, this one. Ah, perdón. Do mm -hmm. Ricardo and Max? Prepare computer. Very good. Continue reading here, Edwin. Which one? This one. Uh, no sé, no sé cuál. Ah, la dos, ¿o cuál? <laughs> que no veo, se me está trabando el internet. <laughs> Number two. Okay. Do Oneida and Nelly sell antivirus? Antivirus, 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 antivirus. Very good. Estamos un antivirus, es cierto. Para el coronavirus. Okay, continue here, Walter. Yes. Permítame un momento. Voy a ir a dormir la niña de nuevo. Okay. Do you reach a uh, Max? Ray reports. Very good. Do Ricardo and Max write reports? Very good. And the last one here, Rene? Do Oneida and Nelly Insta programs? Okay, very good. We are going to answer all these questions, right? You are going to answer these questions based on the reading that you have on page 23. So you have the answers here and you're going to copy the answers. But this time you are going to provide complete answers. Okay, complete answers. I don't want short answers. Okay, you say, yes, I do, no, she doesn't, no. I want complete answers, okay? So for example, let's read. It says, do Oneida and Nelly work with softwares? Let's read, let's read Oneida. En Nelly, ellas dos hacen esto y no hacen esto. Ok, va por equipos. Ok, okay. So, listen to the question. Do Oneida and Nelly work with softwares? Let's see. It says the first one, do create software, repair computers, install antivirus, don't sell computers, don't exchange information about programs. That's the information about them, right? So what is the answer? Yes. Okay, yes. just one. Yes. 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 Do create software. Do, yes. Okay, yes. Do worldwide Do. software. Do. Yes, very good. Oneida and Nelly, very good. Nelly. Work with softwares. And Nelly, mm -hmm. and Nelly work, work with, software. with, software. with software. 
software. software. They create programs, for example. Okay? They create programs. Entonces, esta vez lo que vamos a hacer es dar respuestas completas. Ya, nosotros ya sabemos cómo hacer respuestas cortas, yes, I do, no, I do. Eso ya, ya, pan comido. A piece of cake. Right? But now we need to provide complete answers. Okay? La primera parte de sus respuestas, ya sea positiva o negativa, va a contener la información de la pregunta. Fíjense bien. Yes, Oneida y Nelly work with software. Es lo que está en la pregunta. Y luego le agregamos un poco de información de la que acabamos de leer. They create programs. Ok. Entonces vamos a tener do, dos oraciones por cada una de las respuestas. ¿Is that clear? Yes. Ok. Yes, Please yes. copy the example. Take a screenshot. Tomen una captura de pantalla. A screenshot. Ok. ¿Ya lo tomaron? ¿Ya tomaron el screenshot? Yes. Yes. Ok. Very good. Yes. Very good. So for this activity, you are going to still work in, you're going to work in groups of three. Ok. okay. Vamos a... a a poner una personita más al grupo, a cada uno de los grupos. Let's see here. Ok. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Ok, so let's start right now. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta antes de comenzar la actividad? ¿Any questions? No? Okay, no. Let's go, let's go. Vámonos pues a trabajar. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Hacemos, sigamos y Walter. Aquí, aquí estoy, aquí estoy. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi. Este, la número dos, creo que sería es. Do ¿Cómo? Anneli ¿Mm? sell and ¿Cómo es? Antai? Yo creo que, Bailen. yo creo que do no solo es do, solo es dos? yes o neida. Yes no. o neida, Anneli sell antivirus. No. Eh, yo creo que es no, Oneida and no. Nelly don't sell don't antivirus. Sell antivirus. Okay. Hagamos, una, hagamos una cosa, leamos primero la página 23. Tomémonos un minuto, leamos okay. y luego contestemos. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, ok. okay. Leamos para, sí, leamos para que no se así. Okay, leamos y luego ya vamos a poder debatir. Ok. Ok, perfecto. Uh, ahorita... ¿Mm? Eh, ya está si bien. usted lea los <risa> <risa> si usted lea la, la, el enunciado de la, del apartado 2 do Oneida and Nelly sell anti no, anti él está pidiendo que lea la oh. parte que está en anaranjado y verde la primera okay. uh -huh. El cuadro que tenemos en la página 23. De Oneida, chicas. Oneida, chicas. Uh -huh. Y Nelly. Ah, esta palabra no, no, no sé si es script, software. Create. create. Very good, Fausto. Very good. Yeah. Create. 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 Software. Report. Eh, computing ok In, instant eh, esa palabra como es 
Antivirus. 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 Okay. Antivirus. Okay. Sí, ahora dígalo un poquito más a decir antivirus. Antivirus. Ahí va, mire, qué bonito. Very good. Okay. Los miro otro ratito entonces. Ya vi que están okay. por buen camino. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Ah, pues sí, lo tengo bien. Any questions? Entonces, aquí es, ¿Ya aquí leyeron? Sí. El tercero sería negativo también. Sería también sí. negativo, ¿no? Sí. Ricardo y Max obtienen dinero de, de la venta. O sea, no, ¿verdad? Don, Don Ricardo. No, Ricardo y Max. Don. Que ella sí, Oneida, pero Nelly dice Cell Computer Problems. Es que en Nelly sí sale, pero en Oneida no. Es que es por no. grupo. Es por... Por... es por grupo. Por ejemplo, les muestro aquí, es por grupo. Por ejemplo, acá pueden ver mi computadora. ¿Puedes ver el PowerPoint? Sí. Ok, muy bien. Sí, yo solo puedo ver así. We have this. Ellas dos hacen todo esto. Todo. Uh, Ellos uh, dos hacen esto. Right? Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. ok. Entonces va por grupo. Uh, Con ella y Nelly, uh, Ricardo y Max. Ah, uh, okay. ok. Ok, very good. Ah, uh, pues sería... Ah, uh, pues sería... Yes. Ajá. Yes. Yes, Oneida. Yes, Oneida. En Nelly. Cells. En Nelly. Antivirus. Antivirus, ¿verdad? Antivirus. Antivirus. Very good. Very good. Ajá. ¿Por, qué no le, ¿Por qué no nos tomamos un minuto para leerlo? Leámoslo. Sí. Leámoslo todo. I, I have another opinion. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Porque Por hay menos. que leerlo. Leámoslo bien ah. un minuto y luego debatimos todos. Ok. Mm -hmm. Por lo menos lo que yo pienso que es, no, de Oneida y Nelly don't sell antivirus. They yes. install, install antivirus. They, they install antivirus. Very good. Porque ellos no venden programas. Entonces, como no venden programas, yeah. instalan. no, ellas Solo instalan. instalan. Ellas instalan, ellas crean. Entonces, leamos qué dice la información y luego contestamos. Así nos va a salir mejor. ¿Ok? Leamos. Very good. I'll see you in a moment. Ok. Vaya, porque estamos negando que ellos, la acción de ellos, pero en las cosas que ellos no hacen, no, olvídenlo. Okay. ¿Por, qué no, ¿Por qué no nos tomamos un momento, un minuto para leer qué dice? En vez de contestar, leamos qué es lo que dice el, el texto. No contestamos todavía, leamos qué entendemos del texto. Bueno, pero en, ¿en cuál estamos? ¿En la tercera o en la cuarta? En la cuarta, entiendo. En la cuarta. Luis Ricardo al Max White Report. Report. Yes. Yo en el report. White Report. Ajá. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Sería de buy new merchandise. 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 Caballero. Next question. Do you Ricardo and Max repair computers? No. No. 
No, regarding Max. Bar computers. Bar computers. They. They. Um, uh -huh. um, Podríamos poner ellos. Do they repair computers? No, Ricardo and Max repair computers. They they don't repair computers. Okay, they. They write reports. Okay, they write reports. Okay, they receive the money. Anything else? Okay, very good. más de lo que ellos hacen también porque aquí por hacer, ejemplo, ponerle algo, algo si negativo tomás, no sé, ah, tiene que ser algo positivo porque la respuesta fue positiva sí. a menos Igual que sea que negativa la, la, la respuesta pero de ahí la pasada positiva también uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. creo que <risa> Va. Oye, ya. Va, la, la cuatro la segunda cuatro <risa> la tres cuatro <risa> Ah. Va, Ricardo, repair computers. Eh, repair. No. Repair computers. Computer. Repair computers. Computer. No. 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 Not. Exactly. No. Totalmente. Ricardo. No. A Max. Uh -huh. No. Ricardo y Max. No. Ricardo. Don't. Don't. No, don't. don't. No. Don't. Teacher, no, don't, Ricardo, no. and Matt. No. Uh, no. No, Ricardo, and Matt, don't repair. Computer. Ricardo, and Matt, don't. Ah, sí. Exactamente. No. Coma, uh -huh. Ricardo, and Matt, don't repair computers. Don't Very good. Repair computer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh huh. Ajá, uh -huh. what else? Ah, pues ya se acuérdense de las otras. Vaya. Entonces eh, están malas. <risa> oh, está mal. No lo quería no, decir, pues, pero bueno, minutos, por favor. <risa> Va, no, solo entonces, las dos y las tres. Sí, solo las dos y las tres. No, Oneida and Nelly don't sell antivirus. 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 Perdón, sell antivirus. Very good. So. Y, el, y en la 3. No, no, Ricardo, Ricardo and Max, Max. Don't, don't get don't money from. Get. Don't get money from sale. No sería así, but they sí, don't get money they, for sale. Sí, porque está. Uh -huh. What else? Y el comp ah. Nos falta el, el complemento de la 4. Uh, buy new merchandise. 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 Ah, bueno, no, está perdido. Merchandise. Merchandise. No importa que lo repitamos. Ya la habíamos puesto en la otra cuatro. ¿En cuál cuatro? ¿En la cuatro uno o en la cuatro dos? En la cuatro uno. En la cuatro uno. Ah, bueno. Pero la 4 ah. de la derecha o de la izquierda? La que está abajo de la 2. La que está abajo de la 2. Por favor, profe, pasar a otro grupo, ya no, ya, ya no burlar. Ah, ah por Dios. Marchando. Ah, va. Eh, to you and match white reports. Ahí le falta el complemento. El complemento. To... Por... Tiene que ser algo positivo. Sí, yes. Entonces pongamos. Eso sería la misma. They, they, 
Sí, de las otras. De... Gracias. De White Reports. Maestra. De right Reports. White Reports. Right. 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 Exactly. Right Reports. Very good. Right. So, are you all set? ¿Ya terminaron? No. Solo nos falta la última cuatro. Okay. Only one. Only one. Only one. Yes, es positiva. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Do Neida and Nelly insta programs? Don't. Oneida and Nelly insta programs. They install antivirus. Bueno, yo creo que ahí estamos. Yo creo que así sería. Eso lo eso es. Pregunta. Otra vez. Question. Ok. You finish? Finish. Ok. Yeah. Let's, I think everyone finished, so let's go. Let's go, let's go. Okay, let's wait for the others. Okay, I'm gonna have, I have six questions. I'm gonna put them other numbers. Well, I have a lot of things. So um, the, in the first part, I'm going to have some of you reading the information so you practice your English, right? And in the second part, you are going to answer the questions, okay? So let's see, let's practice pronunciation right now. Uh, let's see, Marielos, help me out with this part. Marielos. Perdón, teacher, no la entendí. Okay, can you please read this part? Great so, software, prepare computer, install antivirus, no sé cómo. Antivirus, okay, antivirus. Antivirus, okay, very good. Let's continue here, Fausto. Okay, um, Neida Chicas and Nelly Pineda done. Sell computer programs. A chain information about programs. Very good, very good. So listen to this. Oneida Chicas and Nelly Pineda create software, repair computers, install antivirus. Very good. Oneida Chicas and Nelly Pineda don't sell computer programs, exchange information about programs. Now we go with Ricardo and Max. Now let, help me out, Eric, you go with the first one and uh, Edwin, you go with the next one. Okay, este, Ricardo Mata and Max Pinto do keep track on the sales. Rice reports by new merchandise. Okay. Okay, continue. Uh, no, Edwin, Edwin, continue. Okay, okay, yes. Teacher, I have to go out from the class because I live in the project, so I will not have a signal. Bye, lea me, Santa Cruz, bye. ¿Cuál es, cuál es? <laughs> Ricardo Mata y Max. Ricardo Mata y Max eh, don't receive money from sales. Mm -hmm. Sí. En. En. Ricardo y Max eh, don't decide what to buy. What to buy? Okay, very good. Ahora sí es. Bye. Okay, bye bye. 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 <laughs> 
Okay, now we're going to continue here, right? With the activity, we have the information. This is the reading, es de la lectura, right? We continue here with number one. You are going to read the question and the answer. Okay, van a leer la pregunta y la respuesta si menciono sus nombres. Aquí la voy a ir seleccionando porque como los nombres están todos raros, la selecciono. We're going to start with uh, Arita. Arita. Do Oneida and Nelly work with uh, software? Yes, Oneida and Nelly work with software. Okay, very good. They? They create programs. They create programs. Very, very good. Now, let's see here. A, let's see here. One moment. Rosa Elena. One teacher. Do Ricardo and Max get money from sales? No. Ricardo and Max don't get money from sales. They keep track on the cell. Okay, very good. That's perfect. Very good, Rosalena. Let's continue here with Jessica Guardado. Uh, do Ricardo and Max repay computers? Um, no, Ricardo and Max don't repay computers. They keep track on the self. Okay, very good. That's perfect. Now let's continue here. Okay, Pedro. Do Oneida and Nelly sell antivirus? Not Oneida and Nelly don't sell antivirus. Okay. They they install antivirus. Okay, very good. Right. No, remember no comma. No antivirus. Antivirus. Esa palabra es bien difícil, así que nos va a costar un poquito a todos. Antivirus. Right. Very good, Pedro. You um, did your best. Antivirus. Antivirus. Sí, ahora, ahora dígalo más suave. Antivirus. 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 Very good. Antivirus. Let me continue here with Mariela. No lo he escuchado, Mariela. Vamos. Antivirus. Do Ricardo and Max write reports? Yes, Ricardo and Max write reports. Very good, very good. Reports, reports, okay. reports. reports. Very good. Reports. And the last one here, tell me the answer, Walter. Do, do Ricardo and Max repay computers? No, this one. Ah, perdón, perdón. Do Oneida and Nelly install programs? No, Oneida and Nelly do, don't install programs. Mm -hmm. What else? They, they install, they repair computers. They repair computers. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, yes, okay, very good. Now, we have, to do, we have to keep reading, we have to keep practicing. Tenemos que seguir practicando y seguir respondiendo. Algo que noté yo y que vamos a empezar a hacer cuando tengamos lecturas cortas y tengamos preguntas para esa lectura. Como somos nivel básico, primero vamos a leer que solo vamos a leer, 
nos tomamos un, un par de minutos solo para leer, aunque estemos en equipo, estemos individual. Después de haber leído, vamos a contestar las preguntas. Porque a veces, eh, en lo que noté hoy es que todos se fueron a responder las preguntas sin haber leído. Entonces vamos a leer y luego contestamos. Después, ya cuando vayamos más avanzados, más avanzados, más avanzados, vamos a ir aprendiendo otro tipo de técnicas de lectura que incluyen eso, que a veces solamente vemos una palabra y buscamos en la lectura. ¿Ok? Pero eso va a ir después. Por el momento, como somos beginners, tenemos que leer y tratar de entender qué es lo que dice, porque a veces nos vamos a encontrar con párrafos que no vamos a entender ni una sola palabra. No, right? nada. Right? Exacto. Entonces tenemos que leer para, para ir prácticamente adquiriendo más vocabulario. ¿Ok? Very good. Teacher, teacher, yes. teacher una, una pregunta. ¿Por qué? O sea, cuando usted nos lee bastante en inglés, uh -huh. hay muchas cosas, por lo menos yo, mi persona, o sea, Ah, no entiendo, muy divagando. ¿Por qué no podemos saber la traducción en español? Yo sé que nos interesa aprender a hablar en inglés y saber en inglés, ¿verdad? Pero muchas veces me pueden decir repique y yo puedo decir guas, hey, bo. pero yo lo puedo repetir. Pero lo que estoy diciendo muchas veces por mi persona hablo yo, no lo sé lo que estoy diciendo. Entonces, ¿no es bueno saber la traducción? No es bueno saber la traducción. Solo, pero, solo, pero... No es bueno Ajá, o sea, saber en español. la traducción porque... Si se fijan, por ejemplo, ayer todos estábamos diciendo on the Sundays, on the Mondays, porque estábamos traduciendo de, de, de español a inglés. Entonces estamos agregando palabras y ustedes tienen que, que ser de aquellos estudiantes, porque yo he tenido estudiantes que hablan inglés, o sea, hablan palabra, con palabras en inglés, pero en realidad están hablando español. ¿Sí me entienden? Entonces solamente están en su mente están traduciendo y están hablando en español con palabras en inglés. Entonces, una persona americana o que hable bien inglés no le va a entender porque solamente están traduciendo. Entonces, sí, al inicio, yo por eso a veces les digo un, unas cosas en español, pero también quiero que ustedes practiquen lo que, van, lo que van aprendiendo. Aunque sea una palabra que digan, ya eso, ya que digan, uh, I don't understand, I have a question. Esas ya son frasecitas que ustedes ya tienen que ir practicando y que ya no tienen que traducirlas porque ya se las pueden. Por ejemplo, cuando yo les digo, choose a person, que escojan uno de sus compañeros, ¿verdad? Para que ustedes cuando escuchen en otra clase, choose a classmate, choose a person, ya, ah, esto dijo esta señora, esto voy a decir. ¿Okay? Para que se vayan recordando, right okay, okay, Y porque okay. a veces, si yo traduzco toda la clase, nos va a llevar cinco años terminar el curso. Okay, porque no puedo ir traduciendo me va a explotar el cerebro si traduzco de inglés a español okay. Okay. entonces vamos a ir traduciendo las cositas pero eh, si se fijan ya esta semana vamos poniéndole un poquito más de inglés a las clases que español como la semana pasada que era bastante español hoy le vamos poniendo un poquito más de inglés okay. quizás y, teacher ¿sí? disculpe que le interrumpa dígame Quizás eh, un método para, digamos, que pueda practicar Walter es, es tener un cuaderno con vocabulario. Oh, sí, yeah, si él good. Quiere, si quiere saber algunas palabras, como se dice en español, es bastante necesario porque uno ya se va Acostumbra. memorizando más o menos y se va acostumbrando, ¿correcto? Eh, no sé, es una, una recomendación o yo lo he comenzado a hacer. Eh, hacer mi vocabulario con verbos, eh, con palabras, algo, algo que no conozco, y lo voy escribiendo, lo voy anotando uh -huh. y, y el significado. Exacto, muy bien. Esa es una muy buena idea, que nos va a ayudar Thank a todos. So much, uh -huh. A todos nos va a ayudar a hacer. Por eso es que les digo yo, anoten, 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 para que ustedes vayan teniendo más vocabulario a la mano. ¿Ok? Muy bien. Ahora, Let's continue, después del comercial. <laughs> let's continue. And let's see here the class. Give me one moment. Okay, now I have this. This is one exercise from the manual as well. And in this exercise, you already have the answer. Right? You open it. Aquí me faltó algo. Aquí, en el, eh, corrijan el manual, por favor, y le ponen coma aquí, miren, ven. vamos a ir poniendo la gramática. Yes, coma, he does, yes, she does, 
please put the comments there para que no para que nos recordemos y en los ejercicios de la plataforma salga muy bien. Tenemos la la respuesta. We have the answer. If we have the answer, right? We are going to create the question. Aquí teníamos las preguntas y e hicimos las respuestas, right? Aquí vamos a hacer al revés. We have the answers, but we need the questions, okay? Now, the questions that we're going to make are going to be with, uh, in this case, with does, because all of them are third person singular. Look, she, she, and he, right? Now, what could be the question for this answer? It says, yes, he does. He fixes the AC on Friday. ¿Cuál sería la, la, la pregunta que usted crearía en este caso? Does he? Does he? Very good. We're going to put here in a moment. Does, does he? Does he fix. what? Does he fix? Okay. Does he fix? The AC on the Friday. The AC on Friday. The AC on Friday. On Friday. Very good. Very good, on Friday. Then we go with the, sorry, on Friday. And the answer is very simple, right? Yes, he does. He fixes the AC on Friday. Entonces, ¿qué estamos haciendo? Le estamos haciendo una, una pregunta a la respuesta que ya se nos proporcionó, right? That's what we're doing, right? We're giving an answer, we're giving a question to the answer. Y eso es lo que vamos a hacer con las otras. Hay una respuesta que está negativa, entonces ahí lo vamos a, creer, a, a hacer un poquito eh, creativos, a pensar qué más se puede hacer. ¿Ok? Y las demás son positivas, las otras dos, y lo vamos a crear. Let's do this individually. Quisiera que lo hicieran individual para ver cómo lo tienen aquí. Página, please go to page 26. Page 26. Vamos a hacerlo de forma individual. ¿Sí entendemos lo que estamos haciendo? ¿Sí? Yes. Yes, ok. Very good. So let's start. Tell me if you have a question. Tell me if you have a question, please. Tell me if you have a question. Dígame si tienen alguna pregunta, aunque sea por el chat.
Sure. Yes. Yo le escribí ahorita en el chat, pero no sé si. Yes, I already answered. Son las correctas. Okay. I already answered. Give me one moment. Eh, give me one moment. Carla, please go to page 26 on the on the book. Okay, on page 26, uh, Carla, we are going to create the questions for the answers that we already have. Ya nos dan la, la respuesta, right? And we're going to create the answer. Esta respuesta ya la crearon ellos. Por ejemplo, yes, he does. He fixes the AC on Friday. Entonces crearon la pregunta, does he fix the AC on Friday? Y lo mismo vamos a hacer para las otras tres respuestas. Crear las preguntas, ¿ok? Perfecto. Now, let me see here, okay. Let me see. Jessica, check your chat. Okay. Peter, check your chat. Okay, very good. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you finish, guys? Marielo, Celiani, did you finish? Yes? Okay, very nice. Now, let's see the questions that you have, okay? Let me show you again this. We're going to start with Marielos, and then we're going to go with Eliani, and then with, I need a boy here, Eric, okay? What do you have for this one, um, Marielos? Number two. Does she send? Does okay. she send many emails to customer? Does she send many emails to customers? To customers. To customers. Okay, very good. That is one, very good. 
And what is the answer? Yes, she does. She sends many emails to customers. Very good, very good. Now, what, will, what could be the one for number three, Eliane? Does she cleans the first floor she? only? Cleans. Cleans, are you sure? Clean. Uh -huh. clean. Does she clean? Clean. The first floor only. The first, the first floor only, okay. Okay, look at this, look at this question, everyone. Does she clean the first floor only? No, she doesn't. She cleans the first floor only. Hmm. Mm. Sería, does she cleans the only? No, porque no solo es el primer piso. Uh, uh, exactly. Clean. But she cleans only the first floor. That's the only thing she does. Does she clean uh -huh. A ella le pagan bien porque uh -huh. solamente el first floor. Uh, does she clean? All floor. The uh, whole yeah. floor, does okay. She only. Or we can say, vamos a aprender otra palabra nueva. Does she clean the whole Everything, right? The whole All building. building. Very good, Jessica, very good. Does she clean the whole building? Building, edificio. Does she <clears throat> clean the whole building? Uh, no, uh, she no, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. She cleans the first floor only. Le pagan el mínimo, entonces solo el primer piso. Right? No, she doesn't. She cleans the first floor only. ¿Qué otra, ¿Qué otra versión de esta pregunta tenían? Esta me interesa. Porque es un poquito más creativa. Very good, Eliane. Oh, Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Another yeah. version. Does she clean? Does she clean? For the windows. First the windows. Does she clean the first... The first, in this case, will be the first floor windows. Floor windows, okay. No, she doesn't. She cleans the first floor only. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. It could be, yes. <clears throat> what could be another one? Yo solo había puesto, she cleans the building. Does, does she, but remember that is a question, Mariela. So we need to mm -hmm. use the auxiliary at the beginning. Does she cleans the building? That's perfect. That's perfect. Does she clean, does she clean the building? The building. Uh -huh. so does she clean the building? No, she does building. No, she doesn't. She cleans the First floor only. Very good. What do you have for number four? I can let it number four. Eric. Eric, right? Okay. Eric. <coughs> Eric. Mm -hmm. Eric. Does. Does he? Oh, does he? Ask Eric. Eric. Keep uh -huh. track on the cells. Okay. Eric, I need you to analyze this sentence. Only Eric. Okay. Only Eric. Analyze this sentence. This question. Does he, Eric, keep track on the cells? Is that correct, Eric? ¿Qué le tenemos que quitar? ¿Qué es que tenemos que cambiarle aquí? <coughs> yes, Eric? No, no, teacher. No. No. No, ¿qué? ¿Qué? No sé. Keep. Keep. He. 
Okay. Y, we y. Can, okay. Uno de los dos vamos a escoger un subject only. Okay. Podemos dejar he o podemos dejar Eric. El que ustedes quieran, pero no los dos. Okay. Dejemos a Eric. Okay. Das Eric. Ahora, ¿qué más le tenemos que quitar? La S. La S. ¿De dónde le quito la S? The Kips. The Kips. The Kips. The Kips. ¿Por qué? Porque Kips es el verbo. Right? Kips es el verbo. Entonces le quito la S. Porque, ¿Por qué le quito la S? ¿Dónde está la S de, del third person singular en este caso? En el dos. En el das. Very good, Roselena. En el das. Como siempre que tengamos esas preguntas con third person singular, right? We are going to delete the S in the verb. Se la quitamos. Porque ya lo tiene el das. ¿Verdad? Ya lo tiene el das, entonces aquí ya no lo necesitamos prácticamente, se lo quitamos. Entonces, esta sería la pregunta. Does Eric keep track on the cells? Yes. Okay. He does. He does. Eric keeps track on the cells. Okay. Eric keeps track on the cells. Very good. So, okay. please take a screenshot of the answers. Para que después chequen. Okay. Did you take a screenshot? Yes? Okay, very good. Let's continue. Let's continue, let's continue. Let's keep working. Okay, we're going to do another activity here. Well, this is very similar. We're going to do this activity right now. In this activity, we are going to be free. We're going to be free because you are going to create questions whatever questions you can imagine using does or do, okay? Only the question right now, right? Now we're going to create a question. Aquí solo les puse does y do. Ustedes van a ser creativos con la información, el vocabulario, las actividades que tienen, right? Los días de la semana, lo que ustedes quieran le pueden, le pueden meter a las preguntas, okay? Lo vamos a hacer individual para ver cómo trabajamos. Tenemos does, do, do and does, ¿ok? Cuando terminen de hacer sus preguntas, ustedes mismos van a responder la pregunta con, con base en lo que tienen, en, lo, en la pregunta que han hecho. Por ejemplo, yo, I can write the question, um, does Mariela, does Mariela buy, does Mariela buy shoes, Every month. That's my question. Okay, that's mine. And I will say, yes, she does. She buys shoes. Um, she buys shoes every month. Okay, that is my question and that is my answer. Right? I have does, third person singular, the verb, and the complement. And then I have short answer, and then the complete answer here. Okay, so we're going to give question, short answer, and complete answer. Is that clear on what we're going to do? Is it clear? Estamos claros en lo que estamos haciendo? Vamos a hacer primero la pregunta con does or do. Luego, después de hacer la pregunta, le vamos a responder la pregunta. Primero damos la respuesta corta y luego la respuesta larga. The long answer. First, short answer, and then long answer. ¿Is that clear? Yes? No? Yes. Okay. yes. So, let's start. Let's start. Let's start working right now. Pregúntenme en el chat si tienen preguntas, por favor, no hay problema. Puede compartir la pantalla, teacher. Yes. Thank you. Give me one 
one moment. Very good. Is it good? Todo bien, Wendy? Yes. Okay. Let's continue. Let's see the answers that you have. Tell me if you have a question. Do you have any questions? Alguna pregunta? Okay, did you finish? Ya terminamos, no? Maybe? No. No yet, no yet, okay. Ya quiero ver esas oraciones. Tiene creativity. Teacher, yes. ¿cómo se dice eh, yo soy asistente de presidencia? Oh, nice. Yo soy asistente de presidencia. I am president's assistant. Gracias. Ok, I will put it here on the chat. I am the president's assistant. De Nayib. No, sí. <risa> no. <risa> Como me dice presidente. <risa> que ya la sí. Buen suelo. Ok. Pero si son las responsabilidades también. Ah, oh, ok. <risa> <risa> Yes, I do. I'm president assistant. Any more questions? Eric, Briseida, Mariela? No. Fausto, no. questions? Marielos? Arita? No? No. No. Okay.
If you already finish, if you already finish, please start writing your questions and answers in the chat. Si ya terminó, pongan sus preguntas y sus respuestas en el chat para que todos tengamos acceso a ellas. Escribe pregunta y respuesta al mismo tiempo y luego le da enter. Para que quede todo junto. I will write mine. For everyone, this is mine. Para que les quede así como la que acabo de enviar yo. De un solo. El que vaya terminando, ponga lo que va teniendo ahí en el chat para que todos podamos leerlo y todos podamos tener más vocabulario con nosotros. Did you finish, Peter? Okay, very good. No. I will start reading some of the some of the answers, okay? Voy a comenzar a leer yo también algunos de acá. Let's see, Ros Roselena. Does Laura play every night? Yes, she does. She plays every night. Very good. Does he eat chicken every day? What's the answer? René, póngate un solo la, la pregunta y la respuesta, René. Fausto también. Does Marielos repair computer? I don't know. Marielo, do you repair computers? Does she read the newspaper? Okay, vamos a poner aquí. Does she watch TV every Sunday? Yes, she does. She watches TV every Sunday. Perfect, Eliani. That's perfect. Newspaper, eh, Marielos, newspaper. Dora, does Eric work? Me equivoqué, in the don, morning? don, pero mi teléfono falló. Perdón, perdón, perdón. <laughs> okay, one more perdón. time, Eric. One more perdón. time. Does Marielo okay. repair computers? Yes, she does. Marielos repairs computers. Okay, very good. Do you work in John Juan El Salvador? Yes, I do. I work in John Juan El Salvador. Do you work or work, Joanna? Work, quizás, no sé, me equivoqué tal vez. Okay, yes. Do you work in a factory? Vamos a ver aquí, Joanna. Le, vamos a, le voy a poner las correcciones. Okay. Y después lo anotamos, okay? Do you work in a factory? Question mark. Yes, I do. I am the president's assistant. The president's assistant. Okay, very good. Let's continue reading. Ahí ya le se lo envié, Jessica. Does Claudia sí. check vi, emails? Gracias. Every day. Very good. ¿Dónde está la respuesta, Arita? Does she talk to Americans every weekend? Yes, she does. Yes, she does. She talks to Americans every weekend. Roselena, Americans. A-S. Ana S al final, teacher. A-I-S. Very good. Americans. Americanos. Okay. Every weekend. She talks to Americans. No nos olvidemos de la regla de la S cuando estamos con plural. Plural. Okay. Let's continue reading. Vamos leyendo los ejemplos que tenemos aquí, por favor. Do you like to dance? Yes, I do. I like to dance cumbia. Very good, René. En la boda de diciembre, niño. Does Eric work in the morning? Yes, he does. He works in the morning. Third person, Eric. Do you, he okay. plays soccer on Sunday? Susana, do you play, 
Does he play soccer on Sunday? Yes, he does. He plays soccer on Sunday. Yes, teacher. Okay. Um, Error de dedo. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Let's continue. It says here. Do you speak Nahuatl? No, I don't. Yes, I do. I speak Nahuatl. Yes, I do. I speak without S, Carla. I speak Nahuatl. Okay. Does she talk to Americans every week? Esa la pusimos de Rosalena. Does Carlos play soccer on Thursday? No. No what? No, no, no. No. Así no. Le apreté antes al botón, así que se me fue. Ok. No, no juega y punto. Ok. Do you like music? Yes, I do. I do music. Mm. Yes, I do. Yes, I like. I like music. Very good. Very good, Jessica. Yes, I like. Wendy says, does Claudia check email every day? Yes, she does. She checks the email every day. Briseida, did you write your answers? Your questions? Thanks, Claudia. Yes, I respond. Okay, very good. Vamos a ver la última. Wendy, does she install antivirus? No, she doesn't install antivirus. She writes reports. Con el, el go, no sé si era go o go. Es. If you're using I, it's go. Cuando si usamos I. No, this this day, Enrique we, goes fishing on Friday. Saturday. She goes fishing. Very good. I like that phrase. She goes fishing. Yes. Mm -hmm. no. Goes fishing. Does Enrique goes fishing on Friday? Does, but you're Friday. using... No, he doesn't. He fishing on the weekend. Okay, very good. If you're using does, you are not going to use goes, only go. Does yes, uh, Richard go fishing? Right mm -hmm. Does Richard go fishing? Let me see here. Let me buscar la suya. Okay, no lo encuentro. Aquí está. Yeah, does Enrique go fishing on Fridays? Oh. Question mark. No, he doesn't. He goes fishing on the weekend. Se lo voy a escribir acá, okay? Does Enrique go fishing on Fridays? Question mark. Then no, he doesn't. No, comma, it doesn't. Right? He goes fishing. ¿Qué día me dijo? He goes fishing. On weekends. On weekends. Okay, very good. On weekends. Very good. He goes fishing on weekends. And the last one, does Mariela exercise in the morning? No, she doesn't. She exercises in the morning. ¿Cómo así? Mariel, ¿sí o no? No se decide. Ay, lo siento. Que se... <ríe> Because you say no, pero sí. Hace sí, pero o no hace. Hace o no hace, no se decide. <ríe> en mi mente sí hago. En su, yo también, no se preocupe. <ríe> lo que pasa es que este, este teclado. <ríe> ok. Es pariente al teclado de Eric, no se preocupe. Ok, so we're going, do you like to run? Do you like to <laughs> run? Yes, I like to run. Okay, yes, I like to run. Okay, now we are going to finish here. Copy the examples, porque le van a servir el vocabulario. No todos tenemos el mismo vocabulario, recuérdense. Copy the exercises and the last one. Do you have any questions for today? Alguna pregunta? ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿Ya hicieron todos el, el midterm? No. ¿Ya puedo revisar? Yes. Yes. Yo, bueno, yo yes. Very yes. nice. Yes. Very nice. Entonces, we're going to check that. Keep working. And I will see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. Okay. See you guys. Pasa una linda noche. Bye bye. bye. Have a beautiful bye. night. Bye. Have a beautiful bye. night. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Oh, yes.
Ahí de, es que nadie se metió de nuevo, así que ya no. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Have a beautiful night, guys. Does Fausto and Mariela, do Fausto and Mariela? Yes, yeah, she do, she do. Mm, let me put here, Walter is going to be to Faust. Pero, ¿qué quiere decir, eh, Walter, en este caso? Que si son buenos en inglés o cómo? Walter? Este, Fausto y Mariela son buenos en la clase de inglés. Ah, pero en ese caso tendríamos que utilizar el verbo to be. No, no el do y el das. Ah, Ahí tendríamos que decir, okay. are Fausto y Mariela good in English? Ah. Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Depende de la respuesta. Uh -huh. Ah, Pero ahí sería okay, el verbo okay. to be. Aquí podríamos decir, do Fausto y Mariela practice English? Ah, ok. Practice yes, English. they do. Or no, they don't. Yes. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Yes, uh -huh. they do. Or no, they y don't. Y la refería, no, they don't. Exactly. Ok, Very thank good. you, teacher. You're welcome. Have a beautiful night. Bye, bye. Thank you, guys. Bye, bye.